Mark Guyu is set to sign as Enzo Maresca's first striker this summer. Can Guyu follow in the same footsteps left behind him by Alvar Morata, Fernando Torres and Diego Costa? With all of us crossing our fingers, hoping that it's more Costa than Morata. But today, my friends, it's only right that I release a video breaking down his game so you guys know what to expect from our new signing in 18-year-old powerhouse, Mark Guyu. Shout out to Nino12x for making yet again another big boy compilation. I'm going to give you guys a bit of context for the intro before we get straight into things. Of course, Mark Guyu is known as a bit of an old school style striker. They're coming back in fashion again and it makes sense, right? With all these skinny ass ball playing centre backs, you want to have a striker that can bully them right now. And I think they're being reintroduced back into that football meta. If you want to look at his stats online, you might notice Nini. This guy's got a big reputation, but why hasn't he scored like 50 goals for the youth team? It's not like that. He's played and trained throughout multiple age groups and teams at Barcelona. They include first team duties, playing in the league, cup games, Champions League. He's played for the under 19s. He's played for the B team, played throughout multiple age groups, just soaking up as much information from different coaches. He's been fast tracked to first team duty simply for this reason. And that's the fact that the guy's just turned 18 and he looks like he's mid 20s already. He is physically developed. And with players like this, all players like this have to do is fine tune and work on the technical aspects of their game. So let's get straight into things. And from the start, this is nice little footwork. I mean, I wouldn't expect any less coming from Lamassio. Now, of course, he's not known to be the most technically accomplished striker. That's not his game. But when you're coming from Spain and Lamassio, you're going to have a bit more tech compared to like an English target man, right? But it's, it's, this is the old school classic parts of the game. Look, nice little chest control, contact with his centre back. He's got the strength. The upper body is going to pin them back and he knows how to flick the balls on to the ongoing runs of his teammates. That's what you need sometimes. Teams need that. Look right here. I know exactly what he's going to do without even seeing things. He's already noticed like I'm going to move into that vacated space because I can see my midfield player now wants to pass the ball to me and run onto that same ball. So look how he kind of moves the opposition defence to his side. And a nice, lovely cushion back heel, of course, creates a chance for a shot then. And unfortunately, nothing more comes from that. Good play. Ooh. This is what I mean. Like, he's not known to be the strongest player technically, but I'm still expecting good things from him. I mean, look right here. Contact with the centre-back, shields it, shields it. Outside of the boot, just to, like, move the ball away from the centre-back and releases it. And here again, boom, nice chest control. Holds the ball up really well, really strong, really strong. And does he win a free kick? Yes, he does. But that's a nice first touch into space, running down the channels. And he's someone that's not afraid to forward opportunities for himself. I mean, look, pace, power, out muscles that center back, that ball is mine. Gets in front of his man, and I think right here, you know, wasn't the right technique then. Use your left foot, open your body up. The angle was there. But he isn't afraid to take shots with his left foot or his right foot. And he can fashion opportunities for himself. He puts a lot of power behind his shots, which is good. Left footed shot cannons off the bottom of the left post. And he's a handful for centre backs to contain. As you can see right here, look, he looks bigger than some of these guys. And these are like actual professionals. Oh, let's see that again. Now, this will be one of the bread and butters in this game as he develops, as he gets older, because he is known for his determination. This is why Javi introduced him to the first team. He said, Yamal, Gabrassi, I think Forse and a few others. I could see in their eyes, they have the determination. They have no fear. They're ready to play. Javi said when he gave his debut to Guru, listen, you have one chance, take it and he scored on his baby. But getting back to this clip right here, he knows he has to get to the near post. And sometimes the wish Chelsea forwards attack the near post a bit more often, but he notices there's a gap of space here. If he times his run, he can get in front of the opposition defender, which he does. But unfortunately, even though he's great aerially, he doesn't direct that way he should. And he's good enough in the future where this will be his bread and butter. Look right here. In between the center backs, he's an option 
the teammates to play along. And I think this is why we've been looking for this like different profile up front because sometimes you have to switch it up, right? But look right here, look against Athletic Bilbao. He's just out muscling. I think oh, I forgot what the guy's name is. Pushes him out the way and generates a shot with his left foot. But this is his debut goal right here. Boom. I read somewhere that Xavi said he likes his strikers to start running when the midfield receive the ball right. Because then you create moments like this. Superb pass from Draft Felix. Made that look kind of easy. Let's see that again. Let's see that again. But that's what I mean by the character this kid showed. To be able to make that run, have that confidence, be decisive in that moment. Opens his body up and slots it away from the goalkeeper. That's all you have to do sometimes. Sometimes there's beauty in the simplicity, right? It's nice when strikers can combine out wide in the flanks, drop deeper. All those technical aspects, we get that. But strikers like this will always forever be popular in the game. Because... You just need guys like this. I mean, what a header. <laughs> Let me see that one more time. Let me see that one more time. That was a sick header. Wins a header again. And then the neck muscle and power to just like hit that, head that, top left bins. And obviously, probably the best goal he scored. What a goal. What an unreal goal. And this is what I mean by these Spanish guys. They have that tech. That is like an Ibrahimovic goal versus Bologna. I mean, outside Croy flick near post it reminds me a little bit of zola even though it's not quite the same but you guys remember that goal right but yeah what's a goal and if he has that type of confidence this is what i mean mentally to have the confidence to try something this audacious sometimes i want my strikers to do that don't just wait for you know the clear-cut moments and chances you know fashion opportunities for yourself make the difference in these moments you know this is such a hard goal to score from He's running towards the ball as the ball is going behind him. And just the, like, the leap, the back heel, the timing of that, connected perfectly. I mean, what a super goal. What a super goal. And I get it's the kid's mentality. I think if you have the mentality, that can help you grow and improve and develop. And I'm really excited to see how he develops over the next two to three years. I'm not expecting this kid to come into the first team and he gets 10, 15 goals next season. Let's not be silly. Let's be realistic. Let's see what he has in this game that can be worked upon and can be improved upon. Like here, great goal, flicks over the defender, opens his body up, and now slots it away from the goalkeeper. Takes his shot early. <laughs> this is what I mean by coming from um, La Masia. Like they say this guy is not the most techiest football player, but again, because I'm from England, if any of our guys are doing stuff like this yeah, the levels are just completely different. But nice little slow ass Lacroqueta right here. And unfortunately, no one made themselves available at that near post then. But again, ah, oh, determination, determination finds this man out wide. Determination uses his body well. Boom. But yeah, this guy's a unit when you actually watch him, right? I mean, I, keep, I have to keep reminding myself he's 18. But that's good awareness right there. Very good awareness. Very good awareness. Head up. Fastest teammate unmarked. Simple. Raheem Sterling, I hope you're watching. I'm joking, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> this is, look at this score right here. This is, look, look at that near post run. Like, when's the last time we've had a striker that can offer us something airily. You know, these classic goals you would constantly see from Didier Drupal back in the day. I'm not comparing Guyu to him, but I'm just talking about those types of opportunities that we just don't create anymore because we don't have that profile up front. But if he, ha if he can show this at a young age, what can he be like when he's 21, 24 years old? That's how I see things. Great, great cushion header. Great cushion header away from the keeper, bottom left corner. In between the defence, he's not shy to get his uh, his body there to make contacts. It's good and nice little delicate chip finish. So we're seeing a variety in his finishing technique. That's very good to see. He's confident in a multitude of different areas on the field. Yes, dinks over the top. Oh, nice score. Again, look, defenders struggle 
to close him down and make that contest, especially when he's in full stride and he's known for the fact that if you give him space, let him carry that ball past the first 15, 20 meters. He gets very difficult to shake off the ball. Determination takes a shot at a really early time and a bit of fortune, but you create your luck in the game, right? You create your luck in football, that's how it works. Was this the under-17 World Cup? I know he was like the joint top scorer alongside Laman, Lamine Yamal. I mean, oh, that was a great strike. And that's a nice little predatory, you know, box finish where he's alert to the danger a lot earlier compared to the defence. In a good position to deal with things. You know, it's a, it's a nice little finishing variety. And again, this is what I mean by his bread and butter type of goal. He makes that run early. We've seen Nico Jackson show that. We've seen a few strikers show that for us. But do they have the power that Guyu has? I mean, you could argue that Guyu is probably stronger than Nico Jackson physically already. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, look at the kid, right? <laughs> this is These types of goals here, English Prem fans love this type of stuff, yeah? You know what I mean? Like, if he's already showing that in a packed stadium as a kid, this is what I mean by the mentality. I know it's a word that can mean anything and everything, but to have that bravery, to put yourself on the line in positions like that. You could be making contact from the defender, from the goalkeeper, to know I'm going to win this ball. I'm going to get in front. Coaches like that. These are things you can work with. You're turning half chances into something moments, right? And you make your own luck in this game. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> you can't forget that Bayern and Sevilla also try to make moves to sign this kid. So... You can, I can tell what these coaches are thinking in terms of, uh, you know, the potential he can have as he grows older. Yeah, that's a replay. The short selection isn't always perfect, of course. That comes with youthfulness. But as you can see, he's not afraid to take shots outside the box or take them early or fashion them for himself. See what I mean here? Pins his centre back great shifts it with the outside of his right foot little dummy goes down the channel but again this is what i mean that probably wasn't the best play maybe playing it back to the winger maybe not forcing that situation that was maybe the best action but you know he's uh he's a handful physically and yeah look at this finish touch away from his feet head down he knows where the goal is you don't have to look up to see where it is and look at the power he generates with barely no backlift. Like, this is what I mean. Pure pace and power. <laughs> Great finish, left foot. Great finish. That nice little touch away too to create the opening for the shot. Just to shift in to the defender. Just to fool him a little bit. To take it back onto your left foot. And then an early strike away from the keeper. That's a very good finish. These are the types of finishes that I can see translating into like first team duties in the future as time goes on. Not every goal has to be the sexiest goal you've ever seen. It just has to go in the back of the net, right? We're seeing how he's bringing his teammates into the game, how he finds them, how he finds himself in the books. I think the kid's got some interesting potential, I'll be honest with you. Again, he can take a shot outside the books. He ain't afraid to do that. Nice little one-touch play there. Good play, good play. See, it attracted that centre-back. Released the ball back to his teammate. He was able to take the shot off. That's why these centre-backs, um, centre-forwards, I mean, are coming back in style. And of course, Airely, I just know. Oh, that didn't go in the back of the net? Oh, I just assumed it was for some reason. But again, look, physically asserts himself. Going for those uh, bounce balls, he wins that. Boom. Great leap. Let me see that leap again. Like, he really rose in the air, right? Yeah, look at that, man. That's his ball all day. All day long. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. This is what I mean. Like, I think this is someone that would probably enjoy playing in the Premier League. The pace and power of the Premier League. I think Gu could have some fun. Let's see if he can assert himself as like maybe the third choice striker. If he can get some sub minutes. 
if he can hopefully break into getting like conference league duties, that will be his challenging goal. That's what you want to see. But again, give him space. He knows how to time his runs really early. The moment, like he's just got confidence, to just that's it. I'm making the run now. See what I mean here? Holds the centre back off. I mean, these are grown men he, that he's holding off here. Releases it. And boom, he's looking to run into that space then. <laughs> nice layoff. That's what you need. You know what I you know what I keep saying this is what you need. Because when you have like these creative guys in behind, they like to have that platform guy up front that will just do like the hard work for them to make them look good. You know, can I rely upon you to hold the ball up? play it in behind to me, play it in front of me, find my runs. You need that sometimes. And they complement the big physical guys sometimes and complement having the technical guys in behind. So I can see the vision behind this type of profile we're making a move for. I think we have signed a pretty interesting player that could have some long-term potential for us. Could that be in the first team? Could that be out on loan? Or could that be as someone that gets sold and flipped for big money? So my friends, how do you find Mark Guyu? Share your thoughts and opinions. And if you want to see more reaction analysis videos like this, let me know in the comment section and tell me which player you want me to react to next. See you all soon. Cool.